Hello students. So today we're going to be practicing finding theme in different fables or mythical stories. All right, so here we go. The young crab and his mother. Why in the world do you walk sideways like that? said a mother crab to her son. You should always walk straight forward with your toes turned out. Show me how to walk, mother dear asked the little crab obediently. I want to learn. So the old crab tried and tried to walk straight forward, but she could walk sideways only, like her son. And when she wanted to turn her toes out, she tripped and fell on her nose. So there is a lesson to be learned in this short little story. What exactly should we learn from what the mother is asking her son to do and then what she realizes once she actually tries. Hello students, this is the next story in our sequence to go ahead and listen to it. Remember this is a fable or a mythical story so it's not real but it does teach a valuable moral lesson. And that's what we're trying to find what it is. So take a listen. Here we go. The farmer and the stork. A stork of very simple and trusting nature had been asked to be a happy party of cranes to visit a field that had been newly planted. But the party ended dismally with all the birds entangled in the meshes of the farmer's net. The stork begged the farmer to spear him. Please let me go, he pleaded. I belong to the stork family, who you know are honest and birds of good character. Besides, I did not know the cranes were going to steal. You may be a very good bird, answered the farmer, but I caught you with the thieving cranes, and you will have to share the same punishment as them. For this story, we want to think about what exactly is the lesson the farmer is trying to teach the stork. The third story in your packet, and again, remember these are fables or myths, which means that they're not true, but they do provide a lesson for us to learn. Uh, here you can see that the theme is already posted for you, but let's see if we can find that also. The ant and the dove. A dove saw an ant fall into a brook. The ant struggled in vain to reach the bank, and in pity, the dove dropped a blade of straw close behind it. Clinging to the straw like a shipwrecked sailor to a broken spar, or like an oar. Okay. The ant floated safely to shore. Soon after, the ant saw a man getting ready to kill the dove with a stone. But just as he cast the stone, the ant stung him in the heel so that the pain made him miss his aim. And the startled dove flew to safety in a distant wood. And the theme here is that of being kind and having kindness and compassion. Either of those would be great examples for a theme of this short little story. And because the kindness, as it says here on the text, the kindness is never wasted. Here is story number four. Again, looking for the theme or the lesson to be learned in the text. And it is a short story. This is the one called The Goose and the Golden Egg. There was once a countryman who possessed or owned the most wonderful goose you can imagine. For every day when he visited the next, the goose had laid a beautiful glittering golden egg. The countryman took the eggs to market and soon began to get rich. But it was not long before he grew impatient with the goose because she only gave him a single egg a day. He was not getting rich fast enough. Then one day, after he finished counting his money, the idea came to him that he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and cutting it open. But when the deed was done, not a single golden egg did he find. And 
his precious goose was dead. So what lesson should we learn from this kind of interesting story? This is our final story and one that may sound somewhat familiar because it has definitely been done and said in a lot of different ways. So for this one, it's called The Lion and the Mouse. Remember, we are looking to see what is the theme or message that the author is trying to tell us in the text. So the lion and the mouse. A lion lay asleep in the forest, his great head resting on his paws. A timid, shy little mouse came upon him unexpectedly and in her fright and haste to get away, ran across the lion's nose. Roused from his nap, the lion laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill her. Spare me, begged the poor mouse. Please let me go, and some day I will surely repay you. The lion was much amused to think that a mouse could ever help him. But he was generous, and finally let the mouse go. Some days later, while stalking his prey in the forest, the lion was caught in the toils of a hunter's net. Unable to free himself, he filled the forest with his angry roaring. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. Running to one of the great ropes that bound him, she gnawed or chewed on it until it parted and soon the lion was free. You laughed when I said I would repay you, said the mouse. Now you see that even a mouse can help a lion. What theme or message or lesson should we be learning from this story of the mouse and the lion?